I'm Barbara Herwick, and welcome to Sounding Board, a production of Seroptimus International of Novato. We are an international and local organization whose mission is to improve the lives of women and girls through programs leading to social and economic empowerment. Today we'll be talking to Corey Kanzenberg. Welcome, Corey. Thank you, Barbara. Corey is from Homeward Bound, and we're, we're going to be learning about Fresh Start, a culinary program at Homeward Bound. So let's start uh, by looking at Liliette's inspiring story. Let's take a moment. I was in high school and I didn't really know what I was going to do. I was kind of lost. I was living in Marin City and over there it's very different because I mean you have a different kind of crowd of people. I went to county, which is alternative school. That's where a lot of juveniles and kids who are on probation go. And they told me about Fresh Starts Culinary Academy. And I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, it's, an, it's a Novato. It's a nonprofit program. And I was like, oh, that sounds really good. For me, starting to come to a Fresh Starts Culinary Academy, it did change my life because I got to meet uh, great people, great chefs, people that want to support me and they want to see me succeed. Being 16, 17 years old going into culinary school, that's big. Like When I went, everyone was like, wow, you're cooking? Are you a chef? I'm like, no, I'm not a chef, but I aspire to be a chef. When I first started uh, working at the Yacht Club in Sausalito, I never was really into running or not too much into exercising. So, you know, the chef, he said, okay, every third Friday of the month, we're going to run. Usually about, starts off with two to four miles. And I said to myself, oh, I don't know about running. Uh, I can't do it. Oh, I always give excuses, but not knowing what I really can do. I started as a prep cook prepping for the line and as the time went by I was really good at my station I set up on time you know and I could do other projects and make sauces or whatever I really need to make and now I'm teaching some of the homeward bound graduates from fresh starts okay we got a chicken sandwich and we got a toasty uh, special bread during dinner I pretty much have a spotlight because the tickets come in I see it, I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I take the ticket and I read it and I read to everybody else and everybody calls it out and then I feel like I'm like orchestrated. So for me to be a leader, that's a big role for me. Oh my goodness, like cooking is an art. Like I love it. I really like the plate ups. I really like to like draw and place things like this and you know really just get into the mojo. But you can really like talk to people through your food. Food is, is like a harmony. There's many dreams I have, mostly of cooking. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be, but I know I'm gonna be somewhere and I'm gonna be creating the best plates ever. If I haven't found cooking and I haven't found the Fresh Starts Culinary Academy, I feel like I wouldn't have found a passion. I now live in Mill Valley at Tam Junction and it's really beautiful and I feel like my life has changed around. I wasn't sure if I was going to graduate high school because of my bad attendance and I was just slacking off. But now I have a great job where I have been working for almost three years now and I'm cooking, I'm doing what I love to do and I'm living on my own. I'm, you know, I'm independent. I pay for my own bills and everything so nobody supports me. I support myself. So I have to say that life has changed pretty greatly and it's still going to keep changing so I'm looking forward to what's next. As far as my dreams, I have a lot of dreams. I'm a big dreamer, I'll tell you that. <laughs>
Yeah, you can tell she's one determined young lady. Very ambitious, yeah. So tell us more about the culinary program itself. Well, right now, Fresh Starts Culinary Academy is a 10-week program. Um, we accept people from Homeward Bound that are residents in some of our housing programs. We also work with community partners for referrals. So it's also low-income individuals from our community. And after the 10-week course, students receive Surf Safe certificates in food handling and managing kitchens. And they are given employment assistance, uh, resume writing help, you know, job search assistance. So it doesn't end after the 10 weeks. They kind of keep working with our supportive staff, with our culinary trainers. But they can go out into the community and, and secure a job then? Absolutely. We have a lot of students that go out and secure jobs. We're looking for meaningful, higher wage employment with these jobs. Um, as you know, Marin's a pretty expensive place to mm -hmm, live. So. Mm -hmm. Um, we're looking for really good job opportunities for them. So tell us, besides Liliette, can you tell us any more uh, success stories? Oh, sure. Uh, we have a woman named Dina. There is a video about her story on our YouTube page as well. If anybody's interested, you can Google Homeward Bound and go to YouTube and um, look up Dina's story. Mm -hmm. uh, she works up in Sonoma County, and she works in a retirement community and recently stopped by to visit us and told, her how, how, told us how much she loves working there. Her specialty is pureed foods and she loves working with the seniors in that community. That's great, yeah. that's great. So is there a wait list to get into the program? No, there's no wait list. Uh, you know, we take about 10 to 15 students with every 10 week cycle. Uh -huh. um, so there is an application that you can fill out, which is on our website. Okay. It's on the Homeward Bound website. Okay. Now tell us about some of the chef events that locals can actually go to and enjoy a culinary experience. Oh, sure. Yeah, those are really fun for anybody, especially here in Novato. We have these monthly chef events with really some celebrity chefs, um, mainly from the Baria, but this year we actually have an Italian chef coming back, um, Chef Fasano. Oh, I'm not going to say his name right, but anyway, um, he works with Visa Tui Winery, and he was really popular last year. He's joining us again. We've had John Ash. Um, Ken Tomanaga from Hana, the sushi restaurant up in Sonoma. Uh -huh. We've had Tanya Holland, who's now you know a Food Network star, and they're usually about sixty dollars per person. Um, you'll want to get your tickets in advance because these uh, events do sell out. And our Fresh Start students help uh, make the recipes and serve them to guests, so it's part of their learning experience. Um, while the chef stands in our demo kitchen and faces the audience and demonstrates usually about three recipes, so it's a three-course meal. Yeah, oh, they're a great. lot of fun. That's great. And um, so being a dog owner, I have to ask you, I read about Wagster doggy biscuits. So you are actually, your culinary students are making dog biscuits? We have culinary graduates and students making dog biscuits. They're artisan, vegan human grade dog biscuits, so you can eat them if you want to. I have actually tried them myself. We all have. Um, right. There are six simple ingredients, and right now they're available at all Pet Food Express stores across California, and they're in most pet stores in Marin, wow. so you can pick them up. They're called Wagster Treats, and all proceeds benefit our shelter and job training programs at Homeward Bound of Marin. Well, that's great. So if our viewers want to volunteer or help out some way with Fresh Start, Besides going to a culinary event, what else can they do to oh, help? Sure. Well, we have a donate button on our website. You're welcome to provide financial support. That's always welcome. Um, you can also call and find out if we need donations um, or if you'd like to volunteer. You can talk to our volunteer coordinator, Andrea Ray. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for being on our show today. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today.